Good morning, Funko fanatics. We're here again at Funko Hollywood. We're coming at you live every day from 10, 2, and 5. We have way more fun-filled <laughs> days to bring to you. Check out these fanatics' minds. They They're are going crazy. crazy. <laughs> All leading up to Funko Fun Days tomorrow. Until then, let's check out another product spotlight. And up first, we have My Hero Academia Gang Orca, exclusive to Hot Topic. Then we have My Hero Academia Fat Gum, exclusive to GameStop. For you Parks and Rec fans, we have Filibuster Leslie, available at FYE. And our McDonald's exclusive is Drummer McNugget, available exclusively at Hot Topic. This is a fun segment. Let's take a trip down Funko memory lane. Let's check out Bob's Big Boy and learn a little bit about the Funko history. Let's do it. FunCon Feature. It really occurred to me when we were at the Hollywood store that I don't think I'd talked to Mike in 22 years. So I thought, you know what? We're so close. This is the time. Let's go back to Big Boy. Hey. Hey, Mike. Jeez. How are you? Good. How are Very you? Very nice to see you. How you been? Really good. Probably wonder why I'm all dressed up like, yeah, like this. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So 22 years ago, I think we said we're going to meet out front of the Big Boy because you didn't know what I look like. I mean, it really, it's crazy how fast 22 years goes, man. <laughs> it seems like yesterday. I know, it really does. How, how many years have you actually been the manager now at Big Boy? I think I'm going since, since 1991 for 30, 35 years. I remember when I first started for Big Boy, 1974. Do you still enjoy it? Oh, of course. And so this will be, this is your forever job. This is it for me. I want to retire uh, maybe in the next couple of years, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I enjoy it so much. Really? I love to work with the public. I enjoy my employees. Keeps me very happy, keeps me strong. You know what's funny, it's the way you talk about Big Boy is the way we think of Funko. But I wanted to show you some stuff you wouldn't believe. So from that first wacky wobbler bobblehead, we've made all these other products. Like, uh, I, have you heard of these pops? So this is the Hollywood Big Boy. This is the regular Big Boy. They're, they're called Pops. Oh yeah, beautiful. And what's crazy is they become the number one collectible in the world. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, no, they're great. Look at that's beautiful. Mike Lopez, the manager of Big Boy now for 30 odd some years, was really the guy that gave me my first break. This is where it all started, right here. And this man's act of kindness, if it wasn't for him, I wonder if there really would be a Funko. From where I started it to where Brian has taken it today, really all stem from, well, from Big Boy and Mike Lopez. So the main reason I really wanted to come back today was to really thank him because his belief in this crazy idea I had was really how the thing got started. And there's one thing I really just, I actually want to just ask him here today. You know, every time, like today, I just got out of Hollywood and, and everybody asked me to sign uh -huh. stuff for them. Yeah. I want you to sign this for me. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's truly amazing how one person can impact your life so greatly. Thank you, Mike. Wow, I really love that story. As you can tell, Ashley's not here, so that means it's time for another Poppleganger segment. Poppleganger. And now we're on to Thursday's edition of Poppleganger. Will it look like them? We'll find out. And what's your name? I'm Tina Lakeberg. Hi, Tina. What is your favorite fandom? Uh, probably Grey's Anatomy, the Christina Lang, um, um, Bailey, and all of them. That's amazing. How long have you been collecting for? <sighs> Two years. Okay. How big is your collection? Small. My son has a larger collection. <laughs> you got to start somewhere, right? And I hear you have a popleganger you want to show us. Show us your popleganger. Thanks for coming to FunCon. And our next FunCo fanatic. What is your name? Dylan Cervantes. Hi, Dylan. Where are you from? Uh, Whittier, California. How long have you been collecting for? Um, four years now. Uh, it's my birthday. It was yesterday. 
Oh, well, happy birthday. Nice. Okay, you have a popple Show me your popple ganger. What do we think, guys? Out. Time for another Funko Fanatic. Hello, hello. What's your name? My name is Angel. Hey, Angel. What's your favorite pop? My favorite pops are pretty much anything Batman. Anything Batman. We make a lot of Batman. What's a Batman you would like to see us make? Ooh, ah. Uh. That's a hard question. Uh, maybe I've seen a lot of more. Maybe I have no idea, actually. Okay, well, we'll come up with something, right? Um, until then, show us your popple We want to see it. What do we think, guys? <laughs> Woo, all right, time for our next Funko fan. My name is Harood, and I'm from Woodland Hills. Sorry, I didn't give you a high five, so let me give you a high five. What is your favorite Funko item? Uh, my favorite Funko item is a, I wouldn't say my autograph Brad Bird Funko Pop that is a Iron Giant one. That's amazing. Um, what is your favorite childhood cartoon? Oh, I love growing up with Darkwing Duck. Oh, you gotta love Darkwing Duck. Okay, so I hear you have a popleganger. Show us your popleganger. The big reveal. Oh, we're getting a lot of thumbs down. He's got the glasses, though. Oh, man. You got an A for effort. Thanks for trying. And that's it for our edition of Poppleganger. Let's kick it over to Hillary. Poppleganger. As you guys know, it's always cool to see the behind the scenes of how our pops are made. So let's tune in for another Artists in Action. Artists in Action. Hi, my name's Meg. I'm a concept designer at Funko. I've been with Funko for almost three years, and today I'm going to draw Ray from Star Wars. I love working at Funko because I, I love the people. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're all huge nerds, and I get to work with some of the most amazing, talented, and super funny people. And because we're all huge nerds, we all kind of get to bring our, our love and our passion for our favorite things, whether it's video games or anime or, you know, what have you and bring that to what we work on, so it's a lot of fun. I think my favorite project that I've gotten to work on so far would have to be The Child, aka Baby Yoda. Um, I got to do the initial concept and it's just been a blast to be able to work on all of the different interpretations that we've done of him, all of his little props, his little expressions, it's, yeah, he's my favorite. I think my biggest source of inspiration would have to be you know, watching movies, watching films. Uh, movies like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings really influenced my decision to become an artist in a really big way. So whenever I need like kind of a you know creative pick-me-up, I, I definitely pop out one of my favorite movies. I'm super excited about all of the things that we have lined up, all of the things that we're in the process of making, and I can't wait to share that with the fans. Well guys, that was my drawing of Ray. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time at FunCon. Artists in Action. Wow, we have some amazing artists. It's pretty unbelievable. Anyways, Hillary's gone. You know what that means. A time for another segment of What's in Your Bag. What's in your bag? Hey guys, we're here in Funko Hollywood and we have another fanatic here for our segment What's in Your Bag. What's your name? Hi, I'm Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, what do you have in your bag today? I only have two things today. So I got Sally from the Nighttime Before Christmas. It's actually a gift for, for my friend. It's almost his birthday. And then last thing I have is I got the new Jurassic Park bag, which I'm really happy about. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool bag. Look at that! <laughs> that is so cool. So are you a big Jurassic Park fan? Uh, not necessarily, but I just thought it was super cute. <laughs> it is a really cool bag. So what are you a fan of? Um, Harry Potter. Harry, po Harry Potter fan. Harry Potter is amazing. Did you go into the Harry Potter world? I did, and I tried to stop myself from getting anything because I already have three shelves with uh, all Harry Potter Funko Pops. Well, thank you so much for joining us and showing us what's in your bag. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And that's it for the Thursday segment of What's in Your Bag. Now back to you. What's in your bag? Wow, they got a lot of cool stuff. We love our fanatic shout outs and we love seeing them. Let's check out a few more. Fanatic shout out. 
Hey fanatics, it's Clay, also known as Pandora's Pops on Instagram, and I'd love to give a shout out to all my fellow collectors from around the world and at Pops with Nat on Instagram. One pop I wish Funk would make is definitely Flynn Rider from Tangled. I think all my fellow Disney collectors would love to have him on their shelves. Thank you. Hey fanatics, my name is Yasmin, Yazzie Faye on Instagram and Twitter, coming to you from the Great White North. I've been collecting for about eight years now, love sharing my photos for Funko Photo A Day Challenge and seeing the creative photography this community serves up. So grateful to be a part of this family and for all the friends I've made along the way. Shout out to all you fellow nerds in the United Funko family. Have a fantastic day. I'm Boston, AKA streamer Oh My Gatos. I've been collecting since 2012 and one of my favorite memories is meeting the entire Funcast at the opening of Funko Hollywood. One of my favorite things about Funko is the community and all the friends I made along the way. Speaking of which, shout out to the Nerd Unite community and to Sully. Stay gravy, baby. Hey fanatics, I'm Madison, also known as HG Mad Hatter on the boards, and this is Max. Back in 2016 when I bought my first pop, I didn't know it would become more than a simple vinyl. For me, it became the key to a huge community of friends that would make up my Funko family. Shout out to Tuff and the Happy Hour crew. See everyone soon. Fanatic shout out. I think it's about time to play some games with Adam. He's gonna be with some Funko fanatics and giving away some prizes. Take it away, Adam. Game on. Thank you very much. If you're just tuning in, this is day two of FunCon live in Hollywood. Yeah. My name is Adam, I'm with Funko Games, and this is Game On, the segment where we challenge people here in the store to do ridiculous things. Today, in honor of Freddy Funko, we are doing mascot trivia from ESPN Trivia Night. So I'm going to be pulling people up. I'm going to be asking them questions about mascots and logos from all kinds of different sports. In this game, we have questions about baseball, basketball, ice hockey, and football, in addition to what you see on TV. Anything you can see on ESPN is in this trivia game. So first up, come on down. <laughs> And what is your name? Flor. Flor? Yeah. Nice to meet you. And where are you from? Um, San Diego. San Diego. Who is your favorite sports team? Um, it's soccer and it's um, Real Madrid. What was it again? Real Madrid. Real Madrid? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. We do have soccer questions in this game. But I'm not going to be asking you soccer questions. I'm going to be asking you questions about logos and mascots. So I'm gonna ask you three questions. If you get two out of three, you win a prize. And if not, security will escort you out. Sound good? Yeah, it's fine. Great. So your first question, which MLB team features a silhouette of its city in its logo? Is it the Seattle Mariners, the Detroit Tigers, or the New York Mets? The New York Mets. That is correct. <laughs> One down, one to go. Which MLB team logo features an image of a bell? Is it the Boston Red Sox, the Texas Rangers, or the Philadelphia Phillies? The Texas Rangers? Incorrect, it is the Philadelphia Phillies. You got one more shot. Ready, ready? Which angelic item is featured in the logo of the Los Angeles Angels? Is it wings, halo, or a harp? Halo. Correct! Congratulations, we have a prize right over here. Thank you so much. Next contestant, come on down. What is your name? Sebastian. Nice to meet you, my name is Adam. Where are you from? From Mexico City. Mexico City, quite a commute. What part of Toronto Maple Leafs history is commemorated by the 13 veins on the team's Blue Leaf logo? Good luck. Is this Stanley Cup wins, the year 1913, or division titles? The last one, division. Division titles? Yeah. Incorrect. It is Stanley Cup wins. So, which NHL team logo, unchanged since 1948, is based on the logo of the first Stanley Cup winner in 1893? I feel bad for you. Is it the Calgary Flames, the Detroit Red Wings, or the Ottawa Senators? 
the second one. The second one, which is Detroit Red Wings? Yeah. Very nice guess. Very nice guess. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Your final question. If you get this right, you get the prize. Which NASCAR driver has the logo in his initials flanking an image of a hand throwing the horns? Is it Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, or Bubba Wallace? Uh, the first one. The first one being Kevin Harvick, not Bubba Wallace? Yeah. Bubba, Wall Bubba Wallace is correct! <laughs> thank you so much, we have a prize for you over there. And thank you for watching, this was Game On at day two of FunCon live here in Hollywood. Thank you for joining us and back over to you. Game on. That's it for our morning segment. We'll see you later today at two with Mike and Brian. And later tonight at 5 p.m. Bye from Funko Hollywood. Bye guys. Bye.